So um, let's talk for a moment about people not wanting, wanting to buy information anymore. And I know everybody has their like perspective on how they want to contextualize that statement, right? Like, oh my God, it's just they do everybody buys information. Got it. What I'm referencing, what I'm referencing is there was a rush uh, some years ago where everybody, I mean, you could put five thoughts into a course and you could sell it for like $500. I mean, it was really easy to sell information some, some time ago. And then we started entering into a phase of skepticism. That's where people were like, well, is your information true? And then we got into an era when people were like, well, yeah, the information you're trying to sell me is definitely true, but it's also readily, readily accessible anywhere. I could Google it or now I could use AI to just generate it. So you might be wondering now, like, All right, well, if I can't sell information, what am I selling? And everybody's going to say the cliche, well, don't sell information, sell a transformation. And that in itself is also going through its own its own like version of like a, a change, like a morphosis, right? Um, and the reason I'm bringing, bringing a, lot of, a lot of this up is because we need to start to convert things that are sort of artificial from an intelligence standpoint into something that is more human from an intelligence standpoint. Instead of focusing on just information and transformation, we need to enter into that era of experience. People want to have a certain experience. And I'm not talking about just the, like the good experience, bad experience. It needs to be aligned with how they receive and process um, information or things that's gonna move them to take action. Case in point, right? I know a lot of people that they always want positive experiences because they operate by the carrot. They always want positive experiences. They want someone to call them and say, oh my gosh, you're doing so great. How are you? L let me encourage you, motivation. And then on conversely, you have others that are like, I don't really respond to that. Like an example, like with me, I do not respond to that motivational stuff. I don't. It doesn't move me at all. What does move me is the stick. Negative, <laughs> somewhat negative or consequential motivation motivates me. I remember uh, years ago, one of my first like actual sales roles, I, I remember I went through this like uh, discovery meeting and I had my mentor sitting in the meeting and, um, and he was just observing like how I was kind of carrying myself and after the meeting, um, he asked me, he was like, how do you think you did? And I was like, well, I don't know. I, I guess, I guess I did good. You know, how do you think I did? And his response, I never, I never remember, I never forgot this. He was like, Mike, watching you, watching you go through that meeting was like watching a baby drown. And <laughs> in my head, I was like, yo, yo, that's actually kind of, that's kind of harsh, don't you think? But the reality is, that's what I responded to. You know what? After that day, my skin got that much thicker. And then I started to hear people tell me no a lot. No, no, no. Don't call me back. My skin got that much thicker. And then I, I had it where, you know, people were going through months worth of exploration with me and then they'll tell me no. And then my, my skin got that much thicker. That got me to the point where I am now where like, sales is not this like, oh my gosh, I hope, I hope I get sales this month. Sales is this, it's this very interesting pursuit to deliver value through a mutually beneficial exchange or even uh, an, a, a weighted exchange in their favor, knowing that I'm still gathering and I'm still acquiring the benefit that I desire from that transaction. Sales is this, it's this activity now that I just, I love participating in. It's not something that I get nervous about anymore. I don't get, I mean, of course there are some moments where you kind of get nervous, right? I get that, yes, but it's not, it's not that thing where you're like, oh my gosh, like I just, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm gonna freeze up. It's, it's a natural human interaction now because even before I enter into a sales conversation, like I'm, I understand or I'm at, I've at least reverse engineered what everyone should be expecting from this engagement. So the reason I'm bringing this up again is because we are, we are entering into a new era of like information is everywhere. Information is everywhere. That's like you trying to, 
you know, you trying to give me something that I could readily, readily uh, you know, get anywhere else, right? Like imagine, imagine you telling me, hey, um, uh, I can, uh, I'll let you, I'll let you pay to watch these videos that I created. But I know that those videos that you created is also on your Facebook page. I'm going to be like, why should I be paying for your, why do, why do I need to pay for this? It's, it's everywhere. <laughs> like, why do I need to pay for this? Right. So if if you want to if you want to get into this mode of like understanding experiences, it's really important for you to it's really important for you to start to gather what that expectation is from the audience you're looking to to target. You know, so, yeah, you know, people aren't buying information anymore. Yeah. That statement is like it's it's th there's no context to it. You know, so some people in the comments I noticed were like, I hate when people do this. And, and other people were like, I disagree. And other people were like, I, I agree. It doesn't really matter what the response is because there was no context to it. You could you could agree, disagree, whatever. The reality right now is that information is becoming a very it's becoming a commodity. It's becoming one of those things that it doesn't matter if there isn't if there's not layers to it it doesn't matter um if if i'm trying to sell you on transformation if you're if if you're not aligned with the journey to take to get that transformation what matters now is more so the journey the experience so if you could sell experience now i think we're going to enter into this era where experience is going to be the the perpetual the long standing sale that we are going to be making inside of the digital product and digital services space it's not going to be information i have some information you you don't have well no i can't believe that i can't believe that at all there's nothing you know or have from an information perspective that i can't get have or generate um you know, yeah, I, I have a I have a bookshelf full of sales and marketing books behind me. I, I have access. I could log into uh, different communities where everyone's sharing every secret they have around marketing. There's no secrets anymore. It's not about information and transformation in itself still requires context. It is all about experience. Mm -hmm.